What if we have multiple authors? Well, that, in that case, of course, you have each author, you want to list their name. But if you have three or more authors, then you can use at all. This sounds familiar, doesn't it? Because in APA, we do something similar to that. However, in MLA, the first time you cite, you don't need to write them all out. The very first time in your paper, you can use at all. So in this example, Nzangu et al. found a link between these two variables. Nzangu et al. also found a number of moderating variables. So again, first time is okay, same as second time. But in APA, that's a different rule. Verdict et al. 42. What is 42? That's the page number where this information was taken from. What about two, two or more works from different authors? That is, that you have two different research papers from two different people. How do we put them together in a sentence? Let's take a look. While reading may be the core of literacy, literacy can be complete only when reading is accompanied by writing. So here we have Barron, 194, Jacob, 55. What's the key separator? Right here we have a semicolon. Remember, semicolon, no space before, one space after. So here we have Baron space 194. What is that page number? Jacobs, 55. What is that page number? So that's how you put them together. Co-authors include both last names. So in this case, we have two authors on the same paper, Doris and Edric. That's two. Remember, if we have three or more, we're going to use at all. What is that? That is your age number. Time-based media. Now, MLA is very interesting. The MLA is quite different from APA. APA are many very specific rules. You check the book and it helps you very clearly. MLA is much more about kind of a rule of thumb, a general idea, follow this guideline and you can work from there. MLA also spends a lot more time on saying, how can you get other media inside of your paper, such as from podcasts and videos and movies. So MLA is very interesting this way, although it can be confusing because it's not always super clear exactly how you should do something. So MLA likes to make recommendations. So they say that, for example, if you have audio or video, you need to try to include information such as the hours, the minutes, and the seconds of the audio or video. So for example, Buffy's promise that there is not going to be any incidents like at my old school is obviously not one which he can follow through. Here, Buffy, because this in this case you're going to see when we do the reference list in the next section, this is the name of the TV show, and this is the time, hours, minutes, seconds, and the seconds is beginning and end. Where does it start? Where does it end? Where does this quotation start? And where does this quotation end? This is very different from the APA approach. In this case, it's a completely different kind of style. So pay attention to that. Something to watch out for. What about the special case where you have authors that have the same name? So here in this example, reading is just half of literacy, the other half is writing, N. Barron, 94. One might even suggest that reading is never complete without writing. So in this case, why do we have the N here? 
because somewhere in our paper we have another author and his name is also Baron. So we put the N here to separate this Baron from the other Baron. Among studies, we review MA Light, N Light, as well as I Light. So I Light is one author, MA Light, N Light are different authors. This Light and this Light are actually the same person, but that's not important. That's not the key point. The key point is the first author and the first author have the same last name. So how can we take care of the same last name by solving that problem? What we do is we go ahead and use the beginning initials of their first name. In this case, first name and middle name. That helps us to separate and lets the reader quickly find in your reference list where are the different papers from.